Welcome back to Pocket Ants. So it seems that we were attacked three times since we last played and we got some pheromones for the victory and we even got some of these like golden trophies, I guess you could say. Now, one person only did 1% of the attack, one person did 30% and another person did 100%. So I'd say we're doing pretty good, you know, on the whole, but today we've got a number of things to cover. Oh my God, we've got a new bug too. Hold on, I, I haven't seen this one before. We need to see what it is. He's actually kind of hanging out near my supply line. Oh, look at this. We got a new bug. Hello there, mister. It looks like a tiger beetle. Is that what it is? He's just, he's just mobbing people. Let's see him. Let's see if he eats somebody. Did he in? Oh yeah, he definitely ate them. Okay. So that's a problem. And in something that we need to deal with first and foremost here, we've got two idle workers. What do we want them on food soldiers to me? We've got a problem. Also, we've got some nectar to get. There's a lot of things, but I'm very excited for this bug. All right, guys. Now what we have to do is go and protect our army. We got to protect our supply lines here. Get him. Get him. He's a tiger beetle. All right. Oh my God. He's got a lot of health. He has a lot of health. We might need to get a few different reinforcements. No, no, we we've, we've lost two so far. Uh oh, was he looking at me? No, he was not. You, you always have to kind of like dodge the beetle. It's like the mini game. We've almost got him. Oh my God. He's running away right as he's like on the cusp of death. Yes. Do we want to kill him? No, we don't want to kill him. We want to capture this thing. Okay. And and, and now we can protect the supply lines. We can get the guys back to working. But essentially, I've got a number of tips and this comes from Yachty. There's a, a lot of little pro tips that we're gonna be addressing today. Oh, and look at this. So this was one of them. I pressed this arrow and it automatically breeds soldiers till I'm full. So that was one of the pro tips. And if you lose all your soldiers, it's usually around six to 700 food. So it's good to have an extra, an extra bit of those. And also using bugs on an attack when attacking a multiplayer. Ooh. Ooh, I want to see the tiger beetle in our nest real quick or in our yeah in our ant nest right that that's ant mound ant empire ant kingdom and castles no I forgot I forgot that we don't really get to see them just hanging out but we got a tiger beetle so let's let's make let's take a look at that so we've got one tiger beetle got a lot of these guys so we want to gain a ton of food right now because I'm basically just sending on automatically produce them now one of the other ones was I've often mentioned that I want these to go away well apparently there's an option to do that see show completed quests. I, I've been complaining about that for a while. Hey, look at that. We did it. We finally got them all. Now there's only the ones we haven't done showing up. Upgrade to honeydew chamber level, whatever. Oh yeah. So also the day and night cycle, there was a pro tip that depending on when the day and night cycle is, you can summon a different type of bug. So we don't have too much pheromones. We've only got four, but the best to worst is dusk, then night, then dawn, and then day. So how do I see what time of day it is? Okay, right here. So dusk, dusk is right before nighttime. Okay, so we just had dawn and now we have day, I'm pretty sure. I need to find out more about that so that I can accurately do it. But it looks like my ants no longer have any work to be doing. I don't think, or they just all pulled back. Are we out of nuts? I guess we are out of nuts. So I guess what I'm gonna need to do is recruit some soldiers to go secure our position up here. Actually, our workers are going for whatever reason. They all just went back in one giant herd. So when we attacked the red ant colony, and this was also brought up in the comments, it gives us pheromones and some gems. So we could do that. We could start the war with the red ants. There are 93 of them and I should be able to do this, right? Am I getting attacked? I, I was pretty close to getting attacked there. Guys, protect your friends here, huh? Could you, could you fight a little bit, please? Please? One of the things I would like is a little bit more variety in this game. Like if I could, I would say it'd be fun that you could have like uh, multiple different types of ants because as of now, you only have workers and soldiers and then technically the queen. You do have the bugs, which is pretty cool. But what if like the bugs themselves had certain characteristics and certain ants were really good at countering them or maybe were really weak against them? You know, there'd be a lot more, I guess, tactical decisions. Oh, we actually lost one. So we will assemble more ants in all of my food, you're going to see it automatically go towards producing uh, more soldiers here because of this lovely feature here that you guys showed me about. And I do do appreciate it. Go ahead and get those new ants there. Now, while we're waiting, uh, oh my gosh, are we at maximum level? We're at maximum level on the food processing chamber. We need 2000 food in order to get the leaf storage, which will give us 4000 350 for seed storage chamber level eight. We can't upgrade the queen anymore, which she upgrades the soldier levels. 
apples. We're gonna need a lot of nuts here to get this nursery up. Yeah, so leaves and nuts, really. And we could get a little bit more uh, honeydew because that's one of the things we're definitely gonna wanna do right here is I wanna be able to do this. Upgrade, increase the amount of soldier ants you can recruit. I wonder what my, oh, that's that's like the number of soldiers you recruit. Increases soldier ants resilience when fighting. That would be a very good one. Upgrade your movement speed of your ants. Increases worker ants movement speed. Oh man, I think that, that should actually be the first one we get. So let's go on a little bit of a raid here. Oh wait, hold on. Can I summon? Can I summon? Attract a golden creature? So this is, wait, what time is? What time of day is it? It's nighttime right now, so we missed the opportunity. Dusk is right before night. I'm gonna actually Google that. Yeah, dusk is right before night. Google has confirmed. Oh my gosh, I was attacked overnight. I just had to pause to go record something. We're already under attack, man. So it's still nighttime. We wanna try to attract a bug at dusk and we're still collecting the food, but the idea here is to go on a quick nectar run to see if we can't get enough nectar to make us our first upgrade, our first nectar upgrade. We only need three of these guys to survive, and let's be honest, hopefully we're gonna get a few more than that. Everybody's going to do their tasks. Yep, so we'll go on this nectar run, and we'll attack the red ants and uh, try to attract a bug. Okay, so this is Dawn. Whoa! Run! I got a little bit too close to the fire ant. Look, he's just, he's just like, I wanna eat the barren ant. Alright guys, let's do this. Clear out, clear out the area. And if we lose any, I'm going to have to try to recruit them back quick enough. But hopefully we just keep ganking them. Like, we have superior numbers to them. Okay, we lost one. The aphid farm. All right, recruit. Ants assemble. Send one more. Send one more reinforcement. Okay, so this is the aphid convoy. We've already got a tiger beetle. We're going to get some more nectar, make our first upgrade, and attack the red ants. This is a pretty successful day, I think, so far. All right, kill. Don't, don't, don't let them eat me. Don't let them. Dang it. We already lost. It's a successful day. Loses one immediately. Oh, wow, that guy immediately dead. Got to look on the minimap, though. That's where the fire ants are coming from ate him it'd be cool if they would go after me because then i could distract them all right get him but maybe once we can command more we'll have a better chance okay yeah i don't need the little pop-up when i'm in the middle of a convoy protection let me know that a leaf is gone get him and i can't tell him on attack so it's like very is if only ants had significantly smarter brains or they were nano ants. wouldn't that be crazy all right they're coming from the rear and how many we lost one okay we're almost to the protection now we're almost to the protection of all of these soldiers at the nest so we should should have gotten, yeah, we, we have nine so far. Okay, and now they're in uh, a safety area. And let's see, what do we have? We don't have a leaf, right? Look at that, eat him, eat him. Okay, so we will disband this because I've got to select a leaf as a new resource and that'll be nine more honeydew. Once they get all the way through the uh, nest here, that'll be the next source of leaves. There are idle workers, of course. Yeah, but I, I, wanna, I wanna know that the, the convoy has arrived. Excellent, okay. So I'm thinking increasing soldier ants, no. We want increase worker speed. Speed. I feel like this is the best one because upgrade successful. Okay, it's our first one, man. So let's see how fast they move. Eh, did it? Did they really go up? Okay, we're uh, we're increased by five percent. Okay, I think I was expecting a little bit more than that. Let's go ahead and raise our soldiers. I love this little arrow button. Thank you guys for all of the tips, you know, for this game. I'm kind of new, but I know some of you guys have been playing it for a while. So in any mobile game that I'm playing, if you guys have been playing it and you guys are veterans, you guys are experts, got some good pro tips and the like, let me know. So we need to wait for dusk because dusk attracts the cool bugs with our pheromones because I've, I've attracted a few. I think the only ones that I've attracted myself are the praying mantises. Ooh, that was a decent amount of food. That's nice. That's nice. We're we're gonna need some more people on nuts, aren't we? Speaking of nuts, let's get our soldiers up here and start attacking the reds. Better the better dead than red, as uh, at least the black ants say, because we can't be red, so we, we're just gonna die. Wait, wait, this is, this is dust. Hold on, attract. I've got four. Oh, wait, I think it's just a tarantula. Which is better? Where did he pop out? Oh my gosh, oh, he's on the other side of the red, actually. So here we go. Whoa, dodge the soldiers. Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of, you're dead. Look at that, brilliant pincer maneuver. We are pincering them and then pincering them. It's a pincer maneuver and we're using the ants pincers. Guys, don't let this guy get those resources back. Those are our resources. You gotta teach these red ants a lesson that if you ain't, if you're red, you're dead. Get them boys, attack the nest. So we'll get a few pheromones for that. We'll take out the tarantula and then I'd say, you know what? We've summoned, we've done a number of things that are first for us here. Oh God, the tarantula's getting kind of close, man. All right, we didn't even lose anybody either. I'm actually surprised that this soldier 
army hasn't taken. Oh, I spoke too soon, man. We lost one. He was a good guy. His name was Bill, actually. Bill the ant. And he's dead now. So there's only, what, a few th a few left. And they're moving very slow down here in the nest. Looks like there's three Praetorian Guard soldier ants protecting the queen. Let's be honest, man. That's not enough. Attack! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, I sent them on attack duty, so they didn't go after... Oh, yeah, we got, we got eight gems and then a few pheromones there. So that is all well and good, I'd say. I think in the next one, we're going to have to go on an attack. And I'm kind of curious to see how our tiger beetles do. Like, is a tiger beetle better than a tarantula? Okay. Whoa, that's... Is he, is he focused on me? All right, now I got to get out of his range and keep recruiting. So the tarantula is very strong, it seems. I don't really know the difference, per se. But we've dealt with all of the threats. Where are you going, soldier? He's right there. See? Do you see the giant... Yeah, go bite him. Go bite him, please. What are you doing? Oh, maybe I didn't give him the command. All right, we're capturing him. So, how did we do? Today, I'd say very well. Let's take a look at our bugs. They're gonna have to take him back, but we got a tiger beetle, two level two mantises, because we actually had four level ones, and you can fuse them. Select two units. So if I wanted to fuse these two mantises, for example, I'd have to use some uh, ant legs, and I have a 35% chance because I don't have it upgraded at the moment. I'm not really gonna wanna deal with that. Yes, and now he's added to our army. So check this out. Nice, we've got three different types of bugs and a full soldier's complement of 50 black warrior ants. So. Now it's just finding out what we need to upgrade, which looks like we could get a seed storage chamber up, but I'd rather start collecting the seed. Wow. A thousand honeydew seems like a lot, especially when you only get 10 at a time. Huh. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Pocket Ant. Let me know if you'd like to see more and what we should try in the next one and if you have any pro tips. Thanks for watching. See you next time.